over here we'll be looking at type function between H2SO4. and potassium hydroxide we will take a look at their molarities first of all this should be labeled a and b a is uh, instructed yeah from specification to contain 2.72 cm cube per dm cube of solution that's the specification for a why b is specified to contain 5.6 grams potassium hydroxide per dm cube of solution so what are the respective molarity besides we have to know that the specific gravity of the specific gravity or what we call the relative density Currently, what we call the relative density, we just compare the density of a, a liquid with that of water as relative. So, RD is the abbreviation for H2SO4, that is about 98%, is 1.84. The percentage concentration will be about 98%. So, with this instruction, you are going to find out if your own h2so4 is up to 1.8 by relative density what do you do you bring your weighing balance bring a measuring cylinder 10 mil measuring cylinder maybe here is marked 10 or let's say 5.0 mil measuring cylinder the first step you know the weight of the cylinder weight of the measuring cylinder let's assume that the weight of the measuring cylinder is found to be 15 grams then you fill it with the H2SO4 you have in the lab, the stock H2SO4. You fill to this level of 5 mil, which means we will have number one, number two thing now is the measuring cylinder plus what? Measuring cylinder plus 5 mil of H2SO4. Maybe you will now get something like a, a kind of 8 or so. So we have maybe it measured, uh, I mean 20, not 8, 23 grams. So when you have the measuring cylinder alone, so what's the mass of 5 grams? So you now know, what I'm saying is that for you to be sure of the specific gravity of the acid you have. So mass of 5.0 mil, if you measure 10 mil, you say mass of 10 mil, 5.0 mil H2SO4, remember these figures, 15 and 28 are assumed, but do your own practically. So, mass of 5 mil will now be what? You minus the mass of the cylinder from the total mass, so that you have the mass of uh, 5 mil H2SO4 here will give us uh, 8 grams. Then, density is equal to mass over volume. Yeah, density is equal to mass over volume. Now, the mass is 8 grams, then the volume is 5. So, for you to know the density of, assuming these are the figures you get, you just say 8 over 5. You now see what it will give you. So, from the calculator aspect, what do we have? 8 over 5. Is 1.6 let's assume uh, this 1.6 so it's not up to 1.8 that's it but it's an assumption but the acid with that concentration of 98% uh, will be up to 1.8 that just by the way now what's the molarity of molarity of the so-called acid provided 7 2.7 cm cube of H2SO4 with the specification of 1.84 is automatically. Madam, I say, machine for any maher for our Morgana. Miss Hanso, chair chair, Obibiara. Say, Majesty, easy word. I will have my. We ye. Well, 
abode mu nya nsafe adisuemu say majesty easy word ewo ha mamu ye die amu wo abode mu nya nsafe adisuemu me pamo chew mo subscribe I am going to share my videos with my mommy. My daughter will be Say, Majesty, and the daughter will be here. My daughter will be here. That see a concentration of the acid is equal to 0 0.05 mole per dm cube. That is what it exactly represents. This is only if your specific a gravity or relative density is up to 1.6 i mean 1.84 sorry 1.84 so let's assume your own is not up to 1.84 it means that you have to have more volume to represent the exact thing there okay but for the sake of time there are other mathematics you need to do to know the molarity of stock liquid solutions so just know that the molarity is 0 0.05 yeah from uh, real analysis it takes more that thing or you watch other videos to know how to go about this then let's go to b 5.6 grams of what k o h first of all we have to find the molar mass let's know the molarity but we need to know the molar mass of k o h k is 39 hydro oxygen is 16 hydrogen is 1 so that we have 56 gram per mole that's the molar mass of k o h therefore how do you convert to mole? Number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. Then the mass given was 5.6. So molar mass is 56. So that number of moles is exactly 5.6 all over 56, which will give you 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 mole per dm cube of course because this thing we are told we are told that it is contained in 1000 cm cube of solution which is the same thing as one dm cube so we have gotten the molarity of both so our cb concentration of b base is 0 0.1 mole per dm cube so we can now work for our end point our ca is 0 0.05 mole per dm cube so for the end point, we have to look at the equation of the reaction, which is now H2SO4 plus potassium hydroxide to give us salt and water, potassium tetraoxide surface 6 plus H2O. Okay? Remember, I've done this uh, titration before I start giving this guide. So you need to put two here. This should be aqueous, 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 and liquid. So this implies that uh, we now have one mole of the acid is to two moles of the base therefore bring our equation which says some students say is cover formula cava all over cbvb equals na over nb we are calling cava because we have tagged the acid a and tagged the base b if the specimen says that acid is e you now say ce ve if the acid is if the base is f it becomes cf vf so now we have ca we want to know our end point that's volume of a that's the va in question volume of acid that we use so our ca is already 0 0.05 times va the unknown all over cb 0 0.1 times volume of base is the volume of pipette vb automatically means volume of pipette so we have 25 and 20 but let me use 25 here equal to n a is the more ratio of acid which is one n b is the more ratio of base which is two so we can now cross multiply finally remember in exam please i forget uh in exam if you set this thing you first of all make v a the subject of the formula which shows that v a is equal to c b v b times n a all over C A N B. It is better that way. So you now substitute your values. V A is now uh, 0 0.1 times 25 times uh, 1 because times N A now 
all over CA is 0 0.05 times 2, which is NB. So if you do this multiplication, this VA please, our VA now is 0 0.1 times 2.25 uh, times 1 is automatically 2.5 all over 0 0.05 times 2 will give us 20 will give us 0 0.1 yeah that should be 0 0.1 this is 0 0.1 let's get to the calculator department mm -hmm. we have 0 0.05 times 2 0 0.1 so I'm correct then 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 is automatically 25.0 cm cube. So the expected endpoint is 25. But let's divide to be sure. 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 is 25.0 cm cube. That's your VA. Now the endpoint is not restricted to be exactly 25, which means if you can use 24, not use, sorry, if you get 24.8 cm cube, there is no problem, 24.9 cm cube, no problem. But these solutions are enough. Do you know why we will have this variation? Because the potassium hydroxide is a deliquescent, of course, it might absorb moisture so that, such that it might not represent up to 0 0.1. So that's it. Then there might be fault in calibration. So these variations are allowed. You can even use 25, not use. Someone can get 25.20, it's still within the range. 25.10 is okay, it's still okay. But make sure that uh, the normal scheme that example uses, to, they use plus or minus 0 0.2 to check the precision of students in the titration. Oh, of course. So these are the guide you need for the titration between. Uh, uh, H2SO4 and the potassium hydroxide and all you need. Now, the special case I want to guide you now is that let's assume you from what I taught you above, you find your specific gravity to be one point maybe 1.76 is your own specific gravity. That means the percentage concentration is not up to 98. How will you now know the equivalent volume? Because when it is 1.76, it is not the same thing as 1.84. You were told to measure 1.84, 2.72, but your own is 1.76, showing that it's less concentrated than others, which means you are going to get an equivalent volume to this. So automatically, 1.84, uh, 1 if it takes 2.7 you now ask 1.76 will require what remember we are not going to use cross multiply here we are going to use simple reasoning which is 1.84 will take 2.7 the lesser the concentration of your stock solution the more of the volume where uh, the volume you have to measure out to represent a strength i hope you understand the argument so if you do cross multiply here you get something less so if 1.84 is to be measured 2.7 1.76 will need more we need more so and if 1.76 will give us more we can use our primary school something which says if more let's divide so we're going to be dividing by 1.84 instead of divide uh, we're going to be dividing by 1.76 uh, 1 if i'm correct so instead of having 2.72 over 1.84 times 1.76 we will now have 2.72 will give us, if more or uh, less, we divide, which is 1.76 uh, times eight, 1.84. So you get the equivalent. Okay. Let's assume your own was 1.76 so that you get the actual volume you are required to measure 2.72 all uh, times 1.84. Remember, this is point. Okay. Is equal to 5.0048 divided by 1.76. So just times 1.84 by the volume given, divide by whatever your own specific gravity gives you to get the equivalent by mass. So you now say divide equivalent by volume, sorry, 1.76. Mm. So you will be measuring 2.8 four against 2.72 that's only if your own specific gravity that's your relative density gave you 
and this one is for 1.84 so if you want to get the same 0 0.05 and your own provided you measured correctly so so that you know very far from the end point range that is expected okay god bless you thank you for watching please subscribe subscribe and share this video i cannot do without you best of luck in your exams wait a minute have you heard about the majestic table it was designed and recommended by some majesty himself here it is the amazing thing about the majestic periodic table is that it provides a clear and colorful classification of elements from P block metals to metalloids to liquid metals. It also shows the boiling and melting points of all the elements. It also has the unique feeling of electrons in the shells of each element. the easy learning and teaching of chemistry in schools in universities secondary schools in research institutes so this majestic periodic table on demand and a special demand as you can see that space there highlighted that is where you can include the name of your school or if you are dedicating it to anybody you can write there because you you can print it to any size you like in a majestic size the resolution will never be affected what made me to design this is that i discovered that these tables i see in the internet the one i see in the market they are not as informative as i want and then some of them are not updated some still retain the fact that we have there are like some still see uh, promentum has not been radiated some might see them as uh, artificial element but it is still is a is a naturally occurring element of course so there are some modifications that this table has has been made to include and that makes it majestic this is super majestic much love